We have previously said that leisure time is time, let me put it over here, is time free from work and chores. Okay, work and chores. And by work, guys, I mean, obviously, if one is a teenager or a child, uh, work could be considered, obviously, school or college, right? So, you know, that's what we mean by that. So leisure time is this thing. We do it when we're free. We do it when we're available. We do it when we're not doing other things we have to do. Um, and we're going to suggest here that that's gone up, okay? And if it's gone up, let's see if we can address why it's gone up. So that's our assumption. Time for this stuff has gone up. Why? So the first one is just to state that we are arguing that there is an increase in leisure time over the last 100 years in society. Now, you, I'm sure, will agree with me that that very much de depends on who you are, the circumstances you're living in, which side of the tracks you grew up on, that sort of thing, right? We're not saying it's universal, but on average, one can argue this pretty, pretty safely. I'm told, and uh, I mean, don't get me started on my dishwasher, but I'm told that advances in technology have saved people time. And I think this is a really interesting point. I'm, I'm just going to present it that way bluntly to you. The fact we've got washing machines and dishwashers and the fact that, I don't know, cut cars need less maintenance and whatever, whatever, whatever. It should mean that there's time freed up. But my flipping dishwasher... It, it tells me it's washing stuff, but in reality, the stuff comes out dirty. And I've still got to clean it. So I've got to fill the thing, I've got to empty the thing, and I've still got to do the washing up. So I'm, I'm yet to see there's quite a bit of frustration in this. The other point I'd make about technology, which is a slightly more nuanced point, let's just come back to this word. Has the availability of working from home, the internet, working from anywhere, notifications, messages, continuous emails, WhatsApp, whatever it happens to be, does that mean that we tend to be freer from work less frequently because we're always contactable and we can always work from anywhere. That's actually an interesting and nuanced point. I'll leave that one for you to ponder. Now, one thing we can say, which is pretty categoric, is that we've got improvements in healthcare. Okay, improvements in healthcare. Now, what we mean by this is that, generally speaking, people's lives are longer. Okay, uh, they are healthier, they are fitter, and therefore they've got more leisure time to utilize. Now, I, I record this video during the COVID crisis in 2020, just as we're exiting it, and this doesn't feel that close at this particular moment, but the point nevertheless remains. Um, also, guys, we could take it a bit further and we could say that people have better health awareness. Okay, so what I mean by that is that the, maybe the traditional model of working yourself sort of fingers to the bone, there's other things that would cause that, of course. Maybe people are more aware of like a balance and the need for leisure and the value of leisure and recreation. And therefore, people understand health as a better concept. It's, it's both it's mental, it's physical, it's social. People understand that and therefore they make slightly different choices. Let's keep this going. I also want to introduce you to the idea that there are more leisure facilities, more leisure facilities. I mean, I've got sort of a fairly spectacular gym here, which is represented in one of my images. Here it is here, look. You know, like this sort of environment is pretty common these days. But look, I mean, you guys are young, but I I'm, I'm, happen to be 43. <laughs> um, but you go back into my childhood, and this stuff wasn't that available, maybe into my 20, you know, it was quite, it was quite rare, it's quite exclusive, okay, and of course, it's much more common now. Therefore, people have better opportunities to actually engage in this kind of thing. And Let's take it here. We've also got the idea of a reduced, reduced cost, reduced cost of equipment. Okay, so people can effectively afford to engage with, I don't know, whether it's a Fitbit or, a, um, or, or you think about, you know, if you think, I mean, I, I was going to mention a pedometer there, pedometer to count your steps or um, that sort of thing, or even like a GPS tracker. If you, if you go back 10 years, these things were hyper difficult to get hold of, right? Maybe 15. But the point is now that, that this kind of equipment is reduced dramatically. Um, we've also got the notion of better travel. Okay, so people can engage in a broader range of leisure activities. They can find themselves at coasts in mountains more easily, this sort of thing. So therefore, uh, this increases. And finally, guys, finally, guys, we get what you might refer to as a wider media coverage. Okay, 
And what I mean by that is that um, things like activity, health, sport even, they're covered very widely in the media. And as a result of that, it creates kind of a stimulus for others to follow that kind of modeling, okay? And therefore that media coverage of health, of movement, of sport, of competition, it kind of brings out that behavior in society more broadly. So those are some of the factors that influence, in fact, let me write this in here so you've got it absolutely crystal clear. I'll write it sort of through the middle here. These are the factors, the factors, the factors that influence, the factors that influence the growth in, and I'm going to put LT, leisure time, okay? Now, there we go. I'm off to go and do the work my dishwasher should be doing. Thanks.